Yo guys, what is up? This is Nick. Today we are going to be going over the Shipmaster deck. And what I've decided is we're going to go over the four decks first. Um, we're going to go over all four of the remaining decks, and then I'll have gameplay. Uh, like, I'm, I'm going to have all... I'm going to record all these before the beta runs out, because obviously it runs out today. And then I'm not sure how I'm going to upload these. I might upload all four decks in a row, and then do the four gameplays. Or I might keep it the way it is, but... We'll have to wait and see, but that's kind of the plan. I am going to be recording all four of these in order right about now. Uh, so first we have the Shipmaster deck, so let's hop into this. Creating these. I'll try to do them a little bit more quicker than they have been. Uh, try to get them done in less than like 10 minutes, because that's what they've been doing. So let's hop into the Shipmaster. Now first of all, the biggest and most key thing about using a Shipmaster deck is using Assassin. Don't use the Scout. The Marauders are so much better than the Ghosts, it's not even funny, so make sure and use those. So let's start out with the higher priced items that I, or the higher energy cost uh, cards that I choose to use in my deck. So there are three that I prefer, uh, really the only three. The Unstable Banshee is really good, it has the Blast ability, which you, if you did not know, uh, this unit explodes violently on death, damaging enemy troops in its radius. What you can do with this is send it in... Um, uh, into an area where like like a camp where or like a a point where they're gathering all their units send the unstable banshee in and it'll crash down into them dealing massive damage it does a lot of damage uh so it's a really good card but i personally don't use it in my deck but the guys that i play with that play the banshee deck do use it or that play the shipmaster deck do use the unstable banshee uh, but the three high price cards that I use are Spirit Assault, Honor Guard, and Scarab Assault. Now, the Scarab Assault for this particular character I feel like is a must because he doesn't have he doesn't have too many expensive cards, if you look, so I think he's well the Scarab Assault is well worth using. Now I prefer personally the Honor Guard. I just like the card uh, and I like the Honor Guard in general. Uh, but the Spirit Assault does have its uses. It calls in an armored spirit transport to drop off banished units. Uh, so they both have their their uses. Uh, it really just comes down to personal preference, whether you want the hero card or you want this Spirit Assault card. Uh, I personally go with the Honor Guard card, but the Spirit Assault is a perfectly uh, reasonable choice. Uh, moving on to the mid-tier of units, um, another card that I don't personally use but is a usable card, a good usable card, is the Prowling Marauder. I just think he's too expensive for what he provides. Um, I'm perfectly fine just throwing in the regular Marauder. Uh, recently, I've gotten into using Blisterbacks a lot and locking them down up on the ridge, but this strategy will probably be less viable. Once we get to the main game and there are... I'm assuming the maps won't all have a ridge or you can just set up Blisterbacks and Locus. But for the beta, uh, it was a good strategy, and so he will be included into this deck. Uh, other cards that are useful that don't personally go into my deck are the Race, Glassing Beam, Cloaking Field, and Teleport. Those are all four cards that I don't personally use in my deck, but all have viable uses. The Cloaking Field uh, obviously does exactly what it says. It, it cloaks all your units in the circle. The Glassing Beam is pretty good, but it's a little bit more situational than it is just like a general use. Uh, Wraith... Uh, pretty good unit with the shield. It is a pretty good unit, definitely early in the game. Uh, it loses a little bit of its viability later on in the game, but it's still pretty good late game. Uh, and then the teleport simply does exactly what it says, teleports your units around the battlefield. The suicide grunts don't personally go into this deck, but I have used them. Uh, they have some pretty good use, um, but they do sometimes... They're a little pricey. If they were down at like 50 or 60, I would be a lot more interested in them. But at 80... I don't have too much interest. Now, Bloodfield Locust and the regular Locust are the next two in. You guys already know I love these two cards, two of my favorite cards in Blitz mode, so obviously they're going to be going into this deck. Now, the Reaver, it depends on who you're playing with and what you're playing. I personally don't run Reavers because my teammates both run Reavers, so I don't see the point. I don't need the Reavers personally in my deck, so I don't run it. But for the sake of this video, for the sake of generalization of the video, I will put the Reaver in the deck and then I'll explain what I have over the Reaver on a regular basis. But in general, you want a Reaver 
Uh, but if you are well coordinated, like if you're just going into a 3v3 solo or just with one other person and you don't know the third person, uh, make sure you have a Reaper in your deck if you know the two people you're playing with. I personally, if they're going to run something that takes out air specifically, I personally don't think it's necessary that you run a Reaver. So moving on to the cheap units, um, for the Shipmaster, uh, I want to make sure I have the Chopper and the Ghost. Um, with the Shipmaster, it's more of a collect energy deck for me. Uh, it does a lot of the energy collection and a lot of the point contesting and just annoyance in general with that different stuff. So I like to have the Trapper and the Ghost. Uh, next is the most important unit. You always got to have a nice healing unit. So the Engineer Auto goes into your deck. Now here's where it kind of just comes down to personal preference and what you want to have. I'm going to throw in the Hunter because I think the Hunters have a really good use against Locus and Race and um, Scorpions and... I forget the name of those things that lock down for the USNC, UNNC. What are they called? I forget what they're called, but you guys know what I'm talking about. The things that lock down like the like the blister backs, but for the UNSC. Uh, so I think the Hunters do a very good job against those. And then now it comes down to one or two spots remaining, and it really just all comes down to personal preference. Uh, you can look at it as one spot left if you're going to have the Reaver, or two spots left if you are not. And, it, and like I said, it just comes down to personal preference, whether you want Grunts, you want the cheap spammy unit, do you want the Jump Pack Brutes who serve, who serve those their purpose against uh, infantry units, Elite Rangers. Now for the upgraded price of 20 energy, I, I like the Assault ra Elites way more than the Elite Rangers, uh, so keep that in mind, that's just my personal preference. Or do you want the Banshee, the kind of do it all uh, air unit uh, the banshee uh, if you already have the unstable banshee in your deck i don't really suggest you use the regular banshee but you can uh, but for the sake of this video we're going to throw in the uh, regular grunts we need a little bit more of a spammy unit we've got a little bit of an expensive deck going here um, but it's easy to, for me personally it's either going to be grunts or assault elites uh, that's just my personal preference we'll throw grunts in uh, for this video uh, but that's kind of the Shipmaster deck build that I run with. Uh, obviously, I don't have the Reavers. So let me take the Reaver out and show you uh, generally. So I would take the Grunts out, and I would have Elite Assault Elites and then the Jump Pack Brutes. That's kind of my personal deck build. Uh, but having the Reaver in your deck is a little bit more flexible and a little bit more of a general build overall. But that's going to do it for the Shipmaster video, guys. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and check back in the future uh, for the Cutter, Isabel, and Anders deck build. So I will catch you all then. Peace out. Letting go, times we might feel like I'm out, looking down.